Who was Daniel Webster? History is full of interesting people and events, like Daniel Webster, one of the greatest speakers and leaders in the United States during the 1800s. But what made him so famous? To hear Daniel Webster's story, we need to travel back in time to 1782, New Hampshire, a small farm with 10 children. The second youngest is Daniel. Daniel's father was a farmer and tavern owner. As a child, Daniel entertained guests in his father's tavern by reading to them from the Bible, a sign of things to come. Daniel wanted to be a lawyer. He worked hard at school, and after graduating from Dartmouth College, he studied law. His hard work paid off because Daniel went on to become one of the leading lawyers in the United States at the time. People liked to hear him speak, and he quickly became famous for winning cases with his powerful arguments. During his life, he argued many important cases before the Supreme Court, the highest court in the United States. Also interested in politics, Daniel decided to work in government. He had some very important jobs. First, he worked to create laws as a congressman from the state of Massachusetts. He also helped two different presidents as the Secretary of State. That is a job that helps the president work with other countries. Daniel wanted to be President of the United States. He ran three times, but he never won. Shortly after his last try in 1852, he died from injuries he received in a carriage accident. Daniel Webster's most famous speech was about how important it was to have a strong central government. He knew that to win people over, it wasn't just what you said, but how you said it. In that famous speech, he said, Liberty and union, now and forever, one and inseparable. That means we are all Americans no matter what, and we stick together. Today, Daniel Webster is remembered for his great speeches and his love for the United States. Why do you think Daniel Webster was an important American?